Alena Media TV. We are broadcasting from Toronto, Canada. I am Elsa Abraham. Kindly take note of our weekly activities and satellite channel. On Mondays, we'll report on COVID-19. On Tuesdays, we'll bring you African news. Wednesdays are African history. Thursday is entertainment. Friday is editorial. And Sunday is your say. Our satellite broadcasting has begun. Kindly take note of our satellite channel frequency. Now SAT vertical 12728. Symbol rate 27500. FEC 5 slash 6. We'll bring you more details after this short break. Kindly stay with us. Thank you so much for still staying with us. Now, our uh, African news in details. Ethiopia clashes reports in Addis Ababa on June 30, following killing of the prominent Oromo activist ha Hakalu Mundesa. The 34-year-old song focused on the rights of its Oromo people. The 34-year-old has said that he had received death threats and the police are now holding a number of suspects. The Ethiopian musician Hakalu Hundesa, well known for his political songs, has been shot dead in the capital. His lyrics often focused on the rights of the country's Oromo ethnic group and became anthems in a wave of protests that led to the downfall of the previous Prime Minister. Demonstrations broke out in response to the news of the musician's death. And emergency reports on social media indicate that Oromo protesters clashed with security forces in Addis Ababa on the morning of Tuesday, which is June 30th, following the killing of a prominent musician and activist in the city. Hondesa, a popular Oromo singer known for his political protest songs, was reportedly shot dead by unidentified assailants in the Akaki Kaliti area in the southern outskirts of the capital at around 23.30 local time on Monday, June 29th. Police later announced that they had arrested several suspects and Prime Minister Abe voiced sympathy over the incident. However, the exact circumstances of the shooting remain unclear. Gunshots have been heard in Addis Ababa and people set fire to tires. Thousands of his fans headed to the hospital in the city where the body of the singer was taken on Monday night, BBC reported. To them, he was a voice of his generation that protested against decades of government repression, he says. Following news of Hakulu's, Hakalu's death, hundreds of Oromo activists were reported to have gathered near St. Paul's Hospital in the northwest Abba Koran area of the capital on Tuesday morning, demanding that the singer's body be released for burial. Clashes are reported to have subsequently broken out between activists and security officers who refused to release the body, with some on social media stating that Police had used live fire to disperse crowds. Police used tear gas to disperse the crowd. Tensions in the area remained high amid rumors that Hakalu's body was being transported to the Oromia region to prevent his burial in the capital. Further unrest and associated security operations are likely in the near term. Despite Abi's appointment as Prime Minister in 2018 and the end of the widespread protest campaigns and the state of emergency in the Oromia region, tensions between the government and the Oromo community have remained high in Addis Ababa. Unrest and clashes between protesters and security officers have repeatedly broken out following the killing of or arrest of appointment prominent Oromo activists amid claims that they are being discriminated against in the capital. The internet was also shut down in parts of the country as protesters spread in Oromia regional state. Hakalu's body was, has now been taken to the town of Ambo, about 100 kilometers, 62 miles west of the capital. Prime Minister Abe Ahmed has expressed his condolences, saying in a tweet,